गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ हिस्ट्री ऑफ लेसन फर्स्ट द फर्स्ट वन इज वाट डिड लिबरल नेशनलिज्म स्टैंड फॉर एंड द सेकेंड वन इज न्यू कंजर्वेटिज्म आफ्टर एटीन फिफ्टीन फर्स्ट वाट डिड लिबरल नेशनलिज्म स्टैंड फॉर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू शुड नो अबाउट लिबरल नेशनलिज्म The nationalism carried on, or the nationalism adopted by liberal class people, educated middle class people, is known as liberal nationalism or liberalism. Now we will discuss that what were the meaning. of liberalism or liberal nationalism in social field in political field and economic field or you may say that what did liberal class people wanted what did liberal class people want in social sphere in political sphere and in economic sphere first of all we will discuss about the meaning of liberalism in social sphere as far as social sphere is concerned liberalism had originated from Liber. Liber means free. In this way, we can say that in social sphere, the meaning of liberal liberalism or national liber liberal nationalism was individual freedom and equality before law. or you may say also that in social sphere liberal class people wanted individual freedom and equality before law they wanted that so because even after french revolution all people were not free and they were not equal before law that's why they wanted this now we will discuss that what did liberal class people want in political sphere or in political field in political field liberal class people wanted a government by the consent of the people and a constitution through which a parliament parliamentary form of government through they wanted this because even after french revolution right to vote or you may say suffrage had been not granted to all as i think it is known to you that 
1791 constitution of france divided the citizens into two group active and passive citizen and it only active citizens had right to vote that's why liberal class people wanted a government by the consent of the people a constitution and a parliamentary form of government through elected representatives now what was the meaning of liberal nationalism or liberalism in economic sphere in economic field liberal class people wanted evolution of a state imposed restriction and freedom of market means there were so many restrictions in the movement of goods and capital and market was not free for the movement of goods and capital that's why liberal class people wanted two things in the economic sphere that was removal or abolition of all the restriction that occurred or imposed by the government and the second thing was freedom of market as we have discussed why they did they wanted so because there were so many restriction and market was not free for example in 1833 a confederation of 39 states created by napoleon in that confederation if any merchants wanted to travel from hamburg to nuremberg any merchants had to pay custom duties at 11 places and at everywhere they had to pay 5% either according to weight of the goods or according to length of the goods at that time unit of length was ile and this ile varied from one region to other region in nuremberg hamburg and so many places you may find in your book the name of all these places so it was most difficult to carry on goods from one region to other region in the confederation of 39 states that means these were the restriction in the path of movement of goods and capital that's why liberal class people wanted abolition of all the restriction and freedom of now we should understand if liberal class people wanted 
evolution of restriction and freedom of market whether any steps had been taken by them so in 1834 on the initiative taken by russia that means steps taken by russia other state also joined and they made a custom union known as jolebring you should understand jolebring was a custom union then what did it do this custom union or jolebring reduced the number of currency from 30 to only 2 and introduced unified weights and major systems that's all now we will discuss about the next topic new conservatism after 1815 first of all you should understand that why there is new conservatism i think it is known to you that before french revolution there was conservative rule and again after the defeat of napoleon in 1815 the rule is started by conservative people that came to be known as new conservatives first of all you should understand conservatives and conservative people the people who believe in old custom tradition institution rule regulation we are known as conservative and the philosophy that believe and follow old custom tradition institution rule regulation and want to continue the same in future that philosophy is known as conservative now you should know that after french revolution for very short period there was rule of elected government and after some time there was rule of napoleon who aimed to rule over rule whole of the europe and he conquered so many parts in the europe after capturing those parts he made so many changes as just you have heard in the previous topic that he made confederation of 39 states like this he made so many changes so in 1815 in the battle of waterloo army of combined forces of britain russia austria prussia defeated napoleon after his defeat he was sent to st helena island where he died after 6 month now anyway after the defeat of napoleon in 1815 representatives or delegates of the four nations 
ब्रिटेन रसिया ऑस्ट्रिया परुसिया दैट डिफीटेड नेपोलियन रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ दीज नेशन मेट एट बियाना और एसेंबल एट बियाना दैट एसेंबली इज नोन एज बियाना कांग्रेस Why this Vienna Congress was organized? This Vienna Congress had been organized to broad changes in the changes that had been made by the Napoleon during his rule. So, what did this Vienna Congress do? This Vienna Congress did two things. You may remind the Bourbon dynasty. The Bourbon dynasty, which was overthrown during the French Revolution, that Bourbon dynasty was re-established. by vienna congress apart from this the second thing that is done by vienna congress that was making of new kingdoms nations and territories at the four corner of france and this was done to prevent any occurrence or events from all sides now one by one we will discuss in all side whatever the kingdoms territories that had been made by vienna congress as far as north corner of france is concerned by joining netherland with belgium a new kingdom had been made that was kingdom of netherland in south piedmont was added to genoa in south piedmont was added to genoa in west russia was given to a uh, part of poland sorry in east russia was given the part of poland while prussia was given the portion of saxony as far as west is concerned prussia was given so many new territories in western side while austria was given a control over northern part of italy in this way we see that in all the current corner of france north south east west new territories and kingdoms had been made by vienna congress and all these had been done to prevent any occurrence revolution or event now the conservative rule that had been set up after defeat of napoleon they were totally autocratic they did not tolerate any type of criticism they put on censorship they did not allow any kind of revolutionary activities 
एट दैट टाइम एनी काइंड ऑफ रिवोल्यूशन और बींग ए रिवोल रिवोल्यूशनरी मीन्स पनिशमेंट टू डेथ दैट्स वाई ऑल द रिवोल्यूशनरी एक्टिविटीज हैड बीन कैरीड ऑन बाई रिवोल्यूशनरी secretly that we will discuss in the next topic that's all thank you